Well, it's, it's recognizing the reality on the ground, and it doesn't take Republicans mm -hmm. and Democrats dividing on this issue. We have to come together and recognize we do have a border crisis. We are having an influx of people coming to our country right now and being let into our country, and it needs to be addressed. And Joe Biden is sticking his head in the sand, refusing to address the American people and re refusing to react to a real-time crisis. John Cornyn's there with, with bipartisan support saying, Mr. President, it is time for you to pay attention to what's happening on our border and come up with a policy to fix this. Yeah, I thought it was interesting. We were watching the president at the celebration ceremony for the relief bill, and he said, you know, one thing you can count on is that if we make a mistake, we're going to admit it, and we're going to address it head on. And I couldn't help but think about what's going on at the border. But then he, you know, sort of circled around to make it clear that he was talking about um, COVID relief and, and the virus. But he has spent, I don't think he's mentioned this issue at the border. I don't think he said anything about it in, in the past week and a half or so, except to say that, God willing, um, they'd be able to manage it. Yeah, he hasn't said anything to anybody because he hasn't given a press conference in over 50 days, which is un unprecedented. But beyond that, we know there's a crisis. This isn't a talking point. This isn't a Republican spin. It is a huge crisis at the border. We have cameras to prove it. And we have kids coming across, many of them unaccompanied, without parents being sent to our border and a Biden administration that's refusing to address this. And remember that inaugural address that was so uh, applauded by the Democrats and, oh, the media loved him. He was talking about being bipartisan and unity. We haven't seen any of that with this COVID boondoggle, now with the border. Uh, we do need some bipartisanship if we're going to solve major issues that are facing our country right now.